Hey, folks, a mainly dry day across the valley today, but we'll let radar go back far enough. You actually pick up the showers around Star County late this afternoon, kind of milling about in Star County, those fading away right as it got to Rio Grande City, and that was about the end of that. The rest of the night has been quiet, and it'll stay that way the rest of the night. Here are your current temperatures where we stand right now. It's in the 70s, every place except the beach, still 81 at South Padre Island. Future Track says tonight we drop into the upper 60s. It's about it. It's about the same as last night. The beach staying warmer. Then during the daytime tomorrow, back into the upper 80s again. So a day a lot like today. Future Track is hinting maybe a little more shower activity on Friday. So while it starts the same, it suggests it's not quite as warm in the afternoon because of the isolated showers around. And then Saturday, again, we start in the 60s and warm back into the 80s yet another time. So the bottom line is no big shift in temperatures. Tomorrow, probably the warmest because it's the driest day with spotty showers around Friday and Saturday. We just kick it down a notch to 88 rather than 90. Now here's future track and again it says tomorrow is a quiet day, a dry day, probably not much if anything in the valley. Suggestion is that Friday may be a little bit more active as the sea breeze comes to life and triggers scattered showers across the area during the afternoon. Saturday, same kind of thing. Spotty stuff fires up on the sea breeze and moves westward. So we're going all the way up to 10% for Friday and Saturday from mainly dry tomorrow. So not a big rain threat, but at least a little more Friday and Saturday than what we saw today. Rest of Texas, it's cool in the Panhandle, 59, 66 in the state capitol, 71 in Houston tonight. No big weather systems anywhere nearby. We're looking at the upper levels of the atmosphere right now. The big high sitting just to the west of El Paso right now because it's there. Our upper level wind flows out of the north primarily, and that brings dry air to the region, so it's hard to get any rain going. By the time we get to the weekend, that high starts to move eastward, and then our upper level wind, wind flow comes off the Gulf. That's what allows a little more moisture to come in, allows for spotty showers. The models do indicate a bunch of moisture down to our south late in the weekend, but we're going to be on the northern edge of that and probably just seeing spotty stuff. Well, areas to the south of us may see some pretty significant rainfall. Let's go to the coast, see what's going to happen out there. In the morning, temperature starts at about 82 degrees with northeasterly winds. UV is high, the roof current risk is moderate, the surf temperature is 82. By tomorrow evening, your air temperature in the upper 70s. Here are the tides, high tides 129, then a low, then another high. Seas 2 to 4 feet with a moderate chop on the bay. So tonight, clear to partly cloudy, no rain tonight, 68 for a low. Then tomorrow, we climb back up to 90, plenty of sunshine, a mainly dry day. Again, your chance of rain tomorrow is oh. Maybe three or four percent, three or four percent, something like that. And we're back to 10 percent for Friday and Saturday. We go up a little bit from there. I think there's a slight chance of showers, maybe 20 to 30 percent early next week. Scattered stuff around. Even on Halloween, on Monday, spotty showers. Not going to be a rainy night per se, but but spotty showers during the afternoon, possible on Monday. Well, look how nice well. the evening looks. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at those temperatures. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really, the evenings are nice. We're upper 60s, low 70s, pretty comfortable, but during the day, back up close to 90. Yeah. All right, Timmy.